Hey guys, welcome back! I am Alex and on this channel I review cool car accessories that I find for your vehicle. So if that is something you like and you like to trick out your car, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this. And on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a pretty cool gadget that I found. I only seen it available before on high-end cars and exotic cars. I didn't know it was available out there for normal cars. And that is this, the Feedcam X Smart Key with LCD display. Now that's a big long name, but what is it? Well, most cars come with a remote control and that remote control allows us to get into the car. But this is kind of plain Jane, not very exciting. Well, that's where the Fitcam X <laughs> Smart Key Control comes in. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. And now uh, it is available in several colors. But what exactly is it? Well, it's a smart key. So it literally has a built-in screen. It's a touch screen that we can access and we can control the car through this key, uh, through this screen and through the keys on top. Now, if you guys are interested on in getting your own Fitcam X key, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can take a look at that if you guys wanna check it out. Now the key can be customized and it can be set to do different things such as we can open and unlock the car and we can also have it open and unlock the car automatically. Basically when we walk up to the car, the car will open the door. When we walk away from the car, the car will lock itself automatically. That is using the smart key. Now the other thing that the smart key does, it has a couple of bonus features built in. One of the features is a pedometer field, uh, feature which allows us to keep track of how many steps we walked in a day. So that is pretty neat. And it's also rechargeable. So there is no batteries you have to swap out. You recharge this just like you would with your phone, maybe perhaps every night and you're good to go. Now, Fitcam X says that the battery in here should last for a couple days before recharging. But what happens if the battery dies out? Are you locked out of your car? Well, no, it won't. There's actually three physical keys right here. Well, technically four with the one in the center. And those keys work even if the battery has been depleted. So the touchscreen needs the battery, but the top keys do not need the battery to be fully charged. So technically you're not gonna get locked out of the car. Another feature that it has that I thought was pretty smart is ability to display your phone number in case a key gets lost, which I think is neat. If you happen to misplace this and somebody finds it, they can call you and you can give them a small reward and you get your key back. So that is pretty neat. Now that I showed you the key functions of the key and how it's installed, let's go play with this on the car so we can see the actual customization of the key and its functionality and test to see how well it works. So here's the Fitcam X Smart Key. I'm gonna turn it on by pushing the button on this side right here. And with the screen comes on, now we can fully unlock it by sliding up, very similar to using your smartphone. Now there is a key here that we can go back to and we can unlock it again. And one of the first things that we can do is customize the logo in here. Obviously this is not a Volvo, so if I hold this little icon and you have to hold it for about 10 seconds, then it should let us customize the logo. <laughs> there it is. And there is a lot of the popular car logos on here. I see BMW, I see Honda, Lamborghini, Audi, Volkswagen, Fiat, obviously mine is a Toyota, so we'll select that one. But look at this, there is Acura, you got Mitsubishi, you got a bunch of other ones, <laughs> Europeans that I have not even heard of. You got a Tesla logo on here, that's pretty neat. Obviously a Ferrari logo, I gotta have the Ferrari logo. And you have a lot of really, a lot of brands in here, Aston Martin, so you can really customize this with the particular logo of your choice. So let's look for the Toyota. Here's the Toyota one. And let's go back. And there it is, the Toyota. Now to unlock the car, we can simply press on the touchscreen. I'm gonna press the unlock button right here, unlock. There we go. Now to lock the car, I can also press the lock button right here. I'm gonna lock it. There it is. Now there is another function right here. Mine won't do anything because mine doesn't have a trunk button. But if I had a trunk release button, then I will press and it would open up the trunk. And it does support a four button. So if your remote had a four button, this could be potentially programmed to do that special function that your car does. Now the other thing that you can do on here, I'm gonna slide up here. You can customize the functionality of the auto lock or unlock function. So I'm gonna go inside of here. 
and you can turn off whether you want that function or not whether it locks the car when you are walking away from it or whether you want it to lock automatically unlock automatically when you are walking towards it so that is really neat now in some cars the windows can roll up and the side mirrors can fold and we can turn that functionality on here too if we wanted to enable that now this is the pedometer as i clear i showed you earlier and in the device settings you can actually see a little bit more stuff like we can change the time as you know right now you saw it it was on a 24 hour time i don't like 24 hours let's change that to 12 hour time and i'm going to click back and you can also change the wallpapers there's a couple of different options of the wallpapers and you can see the version info so that's how it easy it is to use this remote now let's go see the auto lock and unlock function from the outside of the car and now let's test the functionality of the auto lock lock system of the smart key and this is based on proximity so as i get close to the car it should unlock the door <laughs> and there it goes now I did that because I was getting close enough to the car where it detected the smart key. It should also lock the car as I walk away from the car. Again, this is just based on proximity. And let's see if it locks. Yep, there it goes, it locks. So you gotta just do one additional step for you to enable this function, which is the comfort function. Let me show you what that is. Now the automatic locking and unlocking function where you walk up to the car and the car automatically locks or unlocks is available only as an option. If you wanna do it, if you don't wanna do it, if you wanna control it with the keys, that's fine. If you wanna do it, they include this little Bluetooth adapter that connects to your OBD port and that enables the car to communicate with the key and know that you're either coming to the car or leaving the car. And that's how easy it is to enable the, what they call the comfort system, locking and unlocking your car door automatically. Now, how does this work? Well, what you're gonna have to do they're gonna have to transfer the contents of this original key to the inside of this smart key. Now, if you've done any kind of hobbies before and you're familiar with soldering, then you're gonna be good to go. Fitcam X has a really good video on their Amazon store showing you the process of how soldering looks like. So if that is something you wanna look at and wanna attempt to learn, that is also an option out there. But a lot of us, don't do soldering. I happen to do soldering as a hobby, and I think the easiest way for you to accomplish that is just take it to one of those places that fixes cell phones or that fix keys for your car, uh, the new smart keys, and those people are dealing with soldering all the time. So they'll be able to knock that job out, I mean, literally in a blink of an eye. And I might make a video where I show you how I connected my Toyota Corolla key how I solder it to the Fitcam X smart key. Let me know guys in the bottom, in the comments, if you guys wanna see that video. But like I said, I think Fitcam's already did a really good job at making that video, showing you generally how it should be done. Now, if you do decide to do it yourself, it's not that hard. And they do include the kit that has the little connector that would connect to the original PC board or the original internals of the key in your car to the new smart key. What about if you don't have a soldering kit and if you want to attempt this yourself? Well, the kit actually includes a soldering iron, includes a little bit of solder, includes a little spatula, and includes a little charging cable. So I really like that, that this, they made this a complete kit. You get the key and you get all the accessories to make it happen if you really wanted to do this at home. But like I said, my recommendation would be just pay somebody a couple of bucks, go to the mall, have pay them a little bit and they'll transfer the contents to this new key. And if you guys have any questions regarding the Fitcam X Smart LCD key, let me know, put it down in the comments down below. I really like this key. This is actually something that I, it just attracts a lot of attention whenever I bring this out. People wanna know what it is. Is it a tiny phone? Why am I opening my car with it? <laughs> so it's a pretty cool device. I remember I placed a link in the description down below if you guys wanna get your own FitCam uh, Smart Key LCD Key Fob. And I have a lot more videos coming up with cool car gadgets and accessories for your car. So make sure you guys don't miss them. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you found any part of this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.